Hey everyone, Coach Sullivan here again with MJS Coaching Football. First of all, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And then secondly, my background is my 38th year coaching football. I've either been a defensive, offensive, or special teams coordinator, as well as a head coach, both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, I want to talk to you about one of our rifle pack stunts in our rifle package, which is a run line stunt that we call double stick. Okay, just point both index fingers straight into the ground, double stick. Okay, so what that involves is, well, first of all, excuse me, everybody involved goes to the lucky Ringo call. So if it's Ringo, they go right. If it's lucky, they go left. They just listen. Okay, it's up to the inside linebackers to make that call. And if they make the wrong call, the line doesn't know it. They just go to the call. Okay, so you got to really coach up your inside linebackers as to exactly what it is you're designating to go to or away from. Okay, so the first diagram here is our double stick away. And in this uh, diagram, it's 11 personnel. We want to go away from the tight end. You could do it for an offset halfback. You want to go away from an offset halfback. It's going to vary with every opponent, every offense's tendencies, what they're trying to do, who the you know, go-to guy is, who you're trying to stop, etc. So, okay, there's lots of variation there built in. So for this, it's the tight end. So double stick, away, boom, done, right? So in this diagram, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a ringo call because the tight end is left, right? It's a rip left rip so it will always involve as it says up here in the top right corner all three defensive linemen and the plus one outside linebacker is the outside linebacker aligned in the box so if it's 11 personnel for us it's always going to be the rover okay because the dime's going to be detached so that's Versus 11. Now, again, that can vary depending on the personnel, etc. You can utilize double stick away and double stick two versus all personnel groupings. Okay, so there are some cases where versus 10 personnel, four wide receivers, it's only the three defensive linemen. Well, you also have, you know, only six gaps to defend. So you got to factor all that in. So for us, the people involved in the stick. Okay, remember, double stick, right? So if it's a Ringo call, the stud's just slanting. He's the only guy of the four not sticking. He is slanting. The nose, the D end opposite the call, and the outside linebacker in the box opposite the call are all sticking, which means that's a two-gap move. Okay, so the nose sticks B. D end opposite the call. So Ringo, it's always the end. Sticks A. The rover versus 11 in our uh, system is going to be the guy in the box. He is sticking B, and the reason his isn't as clear and as obvious as the nose in the end, he's got to deal with the tight end who's always trying to get hands on and in, in, in our level he's always getting hands on so he's not likely to get cleanly into b gap he's likely to be going right off the butt of the tackle which we're fine with because either way he closes down the b gap okay but that's the reason for a little bit of a different diagram okay and so for us it's always sky and less so still sky over here unless who's detached he is so it's orbit so the the um Gap responsibilities of our inside linebackers remain the same. Okay, 51. C gap, A gap. C gap, A gap. Okay, boom, done. In, an, in the next diagram, we have double stick two. So if the tendency is the opposition, like in years past, Westfield State and 11 personnel. Just about 100% of their run game was to the tight end, so our game plan always was everything was all about to the tight end. So we would double stick two versus Westfield State, and it's still going to always involve all three defensive linemen and the outside linebacker in the box, which, again, that's the rover. Okay, so in this case, left lucky, 
Again, the defensive end on the side of the call is the only one slanting and not sticking. So all every time it's a lucky, it's the end. So he slants C, nose sticks B, right? Now the end, stud is the D end opposite the call. He sticks A. So now in this case, the outside linebacker is on the side of the call. So he too is slanting, okay? So his is a little bit wider because we want to make sure he doesn't get hooked by the tight end or it would kind of defeat the point. But he's a slant. End is a slant. Again, you're on the side of the call, you're a slant. Boom, done. Okay? Nose is always a stick B, and it's the D, it's the people opposite the call who are sticking. Okay, so that is consistent. So slant, slant, stick, stick. It's a four person run line stunt, or we call rifle package. All right? Now there is a little difference for the Mike linebacker in this case and his. Gap responsibility, right? One, three, five, seven. We are encouraging the rover to get with. So if the uh, tight end is occupied here with the slanting end in this case, we want our Mike linebacker scraping inside the rover. But we also have the simple rule. Same color jersey crosses your face, exchange outside. So if the rover is tighter, our Mike linebacker will exchange and be outside of him. Okay? You have to do that. And then, again, no change for the, for the backer. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Okay? And, again, it's still orbit over here. So double stick. If the guy is to the call, he's slanting. If they're in when it's to the outside linebacker in the box, there are two people slanting, and there are always minimum two people sticking. Okay. In the previous diagram, we had three people sticking because it's opposite or away from the outside linebacker, which automatically puts them into stick mode. So that has to be a part of your teaching progression when you do this. And yes. Our outside linebackers, they don't do it every day like the D-line, but our outside linebackers have one period per week that they work on the stick. Okay, you have to do that. You cannot not drill your kids in techniques that they're going to be asked to execute during the course of a game. Preseason, it's a part of uh, cycle two, which means they do it three practices in a row, then it rotates out. Again, you have to see another presentation. But as I mentioned earlier, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And I also hope if you have any questions, you reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. And I'd love to talk football with you.